What's going on guys? Alex Leva back here again for another Blu-ray hunting video. And today, uh, my guest is going to be another movie YouTuber, actually, and his name is Brian. What's up, you guys? You may remember him from my, uh, Halloween, uh, movie night that I did, um, a few weeks ago. What's going on, Brian? Not too much. How you doing, Leva? I've been alright, you know, just living life, you know, working, doing the YouTube thing, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> So what are you picking up? I am going to be picking up uh, a few things. Finding Dory comes out today. You see, I love that movie so freaking much that I have to get the Steelbook. But if the Steelbook's like 30 bucks, then I'll contemplate not getting it. But otherwise, you saw Finding Dory, correct? I did. I don't know if I enjoyed it as much as Finding Nemo. That movie to me holds a lot of nostalgic value. So it that's does. like that's half the battle of it. But yes. I, I do really like how they took the story to the aquarium in the second movie. I thought that was really, really creative because, you know, like, you've seen the ocean before, so it's like, what are they going to do next? They took it to a whole new setting, and I, I really like that. I, I thought it was a good movie. I totally agree with everything you just said. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of the original film. It's one of my favorite animated movies of all time. Now we just need Incredibles, too. Exactly. <laughs> it took Pixar freaking 12 years I know, to, to do that. To movie. even announce that they're doing another sequel. But Seriously, yet they give us yeah. Cars 2, Cars 3. Right. Did anyone ask for Cars 2? Yeah. I mean, I liked the first one. Was not a fan of the second one. Took a weird turn. I don't think anyone was expecting it to be a uh, spy movie. Thank you for hitting record for me, Brian. <laughs> I can't reach it. You're a bit restrained it has right me now. Trapped. So where are we going first? Best Buy to look for that steelbook? Weird. Oh, oh, crap. No. Oh. I am an idiot! <laughs> it's not Best Buy that has the exclusive steelbook. I'm so used to going to Best Buy to get my steelbooks. It's Target who has the exclusive steelbook. I didn't want us to end up, like, be sitting in the Best Buy parking lot. Right, and, and then, then wait. Oh, no. <laughs> no, then we literally go in the store. Where's the steelbook? Oh, I guess yeah. they don't have it. Let's go. I suppose we'll go to uh, Target first and then Barnes & Noble. You know, I'm not the biggest Criterion fan, but I do, I think it is an amazing company. The film came out today by one of the best directors who ever lived, and that is Punch Drunk Love by Paul Thomas Anderson. You said you've seen a couple of his films, right? I have, yes. Which uh, ones? Uh, it was Punch Drunk Love, which is fantastic. I think it's still one of Adam Sandler's best, which I know isn't saying too much, but it's... It's not saying hardly anything. <laughs> right. There will be blood. I would strongly recommend that you check out Magnolia. It's one of the best dramas I've ever seen. I like it more than Punch Drunk Love, but... Really? Punch Drunk Love still is a great movie. I've only seen two of his films uh, so far. Yeah. What <laughs> is that? That's probably what I'm going to end up doing in the next, like, six months or so. That's my dream job. That's what I've always wanted to do. That's pretty sad. Okay, guys, we are at Super Targets. And, Brian, are you going to be picking anything up today or no? You know, you know the series Better Call Saul? Uh, it's, its second season was just released on Blu-ray, so I might pick it up because I'm a, I'm a huge fan of that show. I've been loving it so far, so one of the best shows on television right now. Okay. I'll say that. Yeah. I've not seen that. Oh, really? Or Breaking Bad. You haven't seen Breaking Bad, really? <laughs> no, I wow. haven't. Because people are just like, how? It's been on Netflix for the past five years. Real <laughs> talk right now, Alex. Do yourself a favor, man. See it. I've told about probably 70% of the people in my life <laughs> that I... That you've never seen it. I don't know that I will check it out. Oh. Like, over the past, like, three or four years, and I still and haven't st oh, checked wow. it out. Okay, well, make me the last person you say that to, because it's it's great. Besides Cinecreep, I've never really done a video with somebody who, uh... You know, is a movie enthusiast like I am, besides my friend Ben. And also another movie YouTuber, I mean. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Big movie enthusiast, always have been, so it's Me too. Cool, well, cool to meet meet a fellow a fellow film lover. <laughs> exactly, dude. I mean, I haven't been like a film enthusiast my whole life, but of course I've loved movies my whole life. That started like at the beginning of my high school career. Sure. When I found the flick pick. Oh, there's the Sausage Party Steelbook. I could have freaking came here and got that right there with my friend Dalton yesterday, but he's an idiot. Why? Okay, well, hold on. 
Did you just ask me why I think Dalton's an idiot? Yee yee, motherfucker! I don't know him too well. I can't pass judgment. I, okay, for, have you seen any of the videos? That we've I think done? I've seen one or two with him in it. Then why did you <laughs> ask me? Double exclusive, steelbook packaging, and four collectible lithograph cards. And just barely under 30 bucks. Oh. You, you have to buy it now. You, you said if it's over 30 or if it's 30, I won't buy it, but you made a commitment. First of all, I think I like the slipcover artwork better. I like how this shows all the characters, the colors are more vibrant. Exactly. I actually don't know if I'm gonna get I expected it to be $20. What do you think? Should I spend $27 on a movie that I could get on Black Friday for $10? No. So technically I'm wasting almost $20. Do you know what? I'm not gonna be an idiot. I'm gonna buy Finding Dory on Black Friday. When I told all my friends, I'm gonna get Finding Dory when it comes out on Blu-ray. Then people are like, are you freaking dumb? It's gonna be on Black Friday for cheap. And then I'm like, no, I love the movie so much. I wanna get the steelbook. But now I see that it's 27 bucks. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, Alex, is, is this your teacher? Oh my God, it is my teacher. I've been wanting to hear your opinions on this. I actually have not seen it yet. Here's the thing, all right? So there's a, there's a little story to this. I went with my friend who's a huge Ghostbusters fan like I am. And we had seen the trailers. He committed First, suicide afterwards? <laughs> he did not, no. Yeah, he's no longer with us with this movie. We had our expectations set so low um, that we're like, there's no way we can be disappointed. And they somehow just went a bit lower. It wasn't as bad as it could be. Ironically, we're both picking up uh, Paul Thomas Anderson films. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that it's is... his day. Not a fan. Yeah, not I saw fan. your review on that. It was a mess. It was a mess, man. What, what do you think? Well... The title says it all. Um, I, I brought a squad to the theater, and yeah. the movie made me want to commit suicide. <laughs> except when she was on screen. Maybe sometime we could do like a mega huge video. Mega collab, yeah. Mega collab with like me, yeah. you, Kim, Dalton, I gotta whoever. return the favor. I gotta have you on my channel sometime. Yes. That'd be awesome, yeah. Get Maybe. you on an episode of Nerd Theater. Yes! It currently ranks as my favorite film of 2015. It used to be The Martian until I realized that The Martian isn't really that amazing. I um, liked it. I really liked it too. I still give it like four stars. The visuals definitely were enhanced when you see it in theaters. Speaking of enhancements, oh, yeah, wow. what are your thoughts on 4K? Or as I call it, 4G? I think it looks too real. Oh, I think really? it moves too unnaturally. The frame rate, it moves so quickly that the movements it's, don't it's, flow well. It, it just looks unnatural in my opinion. If you cut them in the frames, you know, it, they'd be great. I feel like you, you have a headache afterwards just because it moves so like, I mean, imagine watching like a Michael Bay film mm -hmm. on 4K <laughs> with the quick cuts and the, the shaky cam. Maybe I'll give in eventually, maybe my eyes will adjust. So yeah, he's gonna pay for his movie, then we're gonna get out of here and go to Barnes & Noble and check out the Criterion sale. <laughs> you are a lot taller than I thought you would be. Yeah. I think this is going to be like a running thing. <laughs> like every single time I made a movie YouTuber. When I first met Cinecreep, like, yeah. like uh, he, he's like six foot two. Oh, and really? like he, he's like a, wow. literally like a foot taller than me. I was like, Jesus. <laughs> the only thing that Barnes & Noble is good for is their Criterion sale. Which yeah. is right now... So yeah, we're about to head into Barnes & Noble right now to check out the Criterion Sale. Shout out to Logan Toxic, the man who rocks it. You see Days? It's actually not my favorite Linklater film. It's one of my favorites and one of his best. He is my favorite director of all time. Which of his films have you seen? Boyhood, Dazed, School of Rock. That's my second favorite comedy of all time. It's a real good one. Bernie. Bernie's and, great. And I've been meaning to see the Before series. Yes. I liked Boyhood, but I don't know if I, I would say it's amazing. I, I think it was... <gasps> <laughs> I, I literally can't even speak to you anymore. I'm your ride home, man. I don't know. Well, since we'll have to, we'll to put our differences aside, since you're my ride home, I suppose we can put our differences aside. I truly respect it for what it is. I think what they they managed to accomplish over that what 12 year period. Yes, that's really cool. Um, I just feel like it needed to have a bit more substance to it. I, I, I what do you mean? It. They could have done a bit more because it's it's a fictional story. So I feel like they could have done a bit more. I guess that really wasn't the point of the movie. <gasps> there it is. What else do we got here? Blood Simple? You're a Coen Brothers fan, right? Oh yeah, big Coen Brothers fan. I think they're the best writers in Hollywood. Right? What's your favorite Coen Brothers movie? Fargo's great, but I think 
No Country for Old Men takes the cake for me. I think it's just a great movie at establishing suspense and keeping you in your seat the whole entire time. You said you liked Eraserhead, correct? I've seen bits and pieces and it's super weird. Speaking of Eraserhead, uh, one of my good buddies on here, Jordan, just uh, did this for a, uh, one of his episodes of Coffee and Criterion. Check him out. He makes great content. My favorite Criterion film uh, is Boyhood now, but it used to be Being John Malkovich, like, which isn't really saying much because I, I, I'm like, I like just started getting into the Criterion collection like like nine months ago. So would you say that Birdman should get a Criterion release? Birdman should get a Criterion. Yeah, uh, I just that picked that would... up on Blu-ray not too long ago. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Did you get it with the red case? Um, no, I didn't. It's not the end of the world. It's just a red case. Right. Just take a Blu-ray case and spray paint it red. That's all you gotta do. There you go. That's all you exactly. gotta do. Richard Linklater is one of those directors that should be like, you know, Kurosawa and some of the other filmmakers to where all their films are on the Criterion Collection because, you know, the Before Trilogy, come on. Like, any day that's gonna get an announcement for, you know, a Criterion release. Yeah. And, like, a few of his films are already on there, like Dazed, freaking Slacker. Dreams, I, I, this... What the case is for. Yeah, exactly. Dreams just came out today. It's a Kurosawa film. It's about like dreams that he actually had, I, I think. That's cool. Cinecreep told me about it. He's a huge Criterion buff. Breathless. Cinecreep really likes that one. Okay, guys, we just got out of Barnes & Noble, and I ended up getting one thing, and he got nothing. So now we're going to stop by uh, Best Buy. Good you found it, huh? I think I might get it. Great series, for sure. I wonder what the Best Buy exclusive thing is for uh, Best Buy. Coloring book? That's why you didn't buy it at Target. You knew about the coloring book. Oh, yeah. Looks like Best Buy is increasing their prices. The Owen collection went up 5 bucks. That went up, like, 20 bucks, And this went up 20 bucks. This was $20 two years ago before Dawn of the Planet Apes came out. Screw off. Now, this is cool. You know what's pretty cool? Huh. Oh, Rocky, yeah, I know, right? Great film. Great movie. What? Oh, Saw? Yes. Yeah, that one's alright, too, I guess. Alright, too, I guess? <laughs> I actually haven't seen Saw. Yep. I know. Okay. That's it. I can't physically deal with a human being like, what is this? They got a new ver Star Wars 3D Blu-ray came out today, the collector's edition. Uh, oh, just today? Wow. Yes, it finally came out on 3D, which is kind of bizarre because like every big movie comes out on 3D, but no, it took it's them like, so long. It took them so long to come out with a 3D release for it. But you like The Force Awakens, correct? I did. I think it's wore down a bit for me after I've seen it multiple times. There it is, 12.99, the final last one. I oh, hope wow. it's not dented. One of my favorite childhood movies of all time. I'm having an inner struggle right now. I might get Better Call Saul Season 2. Alright, how much is it? It's like 30 bucks. And they're probably gonna release it on Netflix soon, so I'm just gonna have to be strong. And I might have to say goodbye. Okay guys, we just got out of Best Buy. I ended up getting one thing and he got nothing. Now we're going to show off all our pickups. The first thing I got is the only criterion that I ended up uh, picking up in the uh, sale. And that is Punch Drunk Love, uh, directed by Paul Th Thank you, sir. <laughs> Directed by Paul Thomas Anderson, uh, one of the best filmmakers working today. Adam Sandler's best performance, in my opinion. It's the character he usually plays in a lot of his movies, but they yeah, put him in like a realistic environment, which was pretty unique. The Space Jam Steelbook. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you a brief unboxing for the Space Jam Steelbook. Really cool artwork. I'm really um, happy with the way this looks. And the back, oh, the back of that looks so awesome. Okay, cool. You open it up, the digital HD is mine. What the freak? What? There's no second disc in there? What? There's no Blu-ray! <laughs> There's no Blu-ray? There's no Blu-ray! <laughs> I swear to God! There's what? no Blu-ray! Oh my what God! What is this? Do we have to go back? Yeah, you just got chipped, man. This has never happened before in history! Yeah, like, wow. I've never seen that before. This has never happened before in the it history of- factory sealed and everything. Factory sealed and everything. I'm glad I opened it in the car. If, if yeah. I would have opened it when I got back home, 
Nice inside artwork though. Like, Jesus! You have video proof that you bought it though, so that's good. Yeah, I have video proof of me opening it. See, that's what I was thinking. So that like she'll be like, well, how do I know that, that you're, you're not trying to rip us yeah, off? Yeah, that you're not trying to rip us off and be like, and I like, got oh, video footage off. of it. Then yeah. she'll look at the footage and be like, why are you recording yourself? I'm, 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 I'm gonna be like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> you're not asking the important questions here. Either they didn't place a disc in there when they shipped it out. Or someone just pulled the greatest theft heist of all time and they stole a Blu-ray disc without even leaving a trace. Cool. What though? That's the last one. You're right! Wait a minute. I have a solution to the situation. I have the Blu-ray release of this, the standard Amaray, and it's the same exact disc. Oh, yeah. So I can just take that out of the Amaray case and just use that as a replacement <laughs> Blu-ray case and put okay. it in here. I wanted to take the Blu-ray that I already had and trade it into Disc Replay for a few bucks, but uh, we're actually right by Disc Replay. That's ironic. <laughs> and I'm going the wrong way, but that's okay. No one sees, you know. So I guess we're on camera now, so yeah, I, just this is highly... to, I just confessed to my crimes. So illegal. Or as Dalton would say. Highly fucking illegal. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for today's Blu-ray hunting video. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. Down below in the comments, tell me what you thought of this video. You didn't show your pickup. It's a good one. I, I've been yes. wanting to pick it up for a while just because I love the movie so much. This is Brian. Uh, he has a channel here on YouTube as well. It's called B-Boy Studios 97. He does movie reviews. Uh, please check out his channel. Please go subscribe to his channel. The link to his channel will be down in the, in the description below. He's really good at what he does. Thank you. And thanks for having me on too, man. Yeah, it was a great time. Yeah, it's, it, like I said earlier, it's really cool to do a, a Blu-ray hunting video with somebody who is uh, into movies like I am. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to do it again sometime. Yeah. Follow me on Instagram and add me on Snapchat. The links to those will be down in the, in the description below. Do you want your link to your Instagram? Or? Sure, yeah, yeah. Link to his Instagram will be in the description below as well. Give him a follow. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. See ya.